A defender's investigation, a dramatic standoff with a local towing company caught on camera. A woman actually climbing up onto the truck, trying to stop the driver from towing a minivan. This is the same company involved in a heated exchange we showed you back in December. Mo uh, September rather months later, a third incident landed the owner behind bars tonight. These car owners are begging for this towing company to get the boot. But WCNC Charlotte's Tony Mendez learned towing companies practices are almost completely unregulated. She has our defenders investigation all new at six. We've talked to the owner of RPM towing repeatedly. Each time he tells us he does not want to go on camera, he stands by the fact that towing companies everywhere have a right to tow when there are posted signs. And we found out he may not be wrong. You cannot! This is against the law! The desperate pleas from a Gastonia woman whose car is about to be towed out of her own driveway. Is this my vehicle? Yes! Will be. yes! And while tows over shared marital property may happen from time to time, they don't always go like this. You touch me with this truck and I swear to God, do not touch me with this truck. The woman in the video says the tow truck driver hit her with his truck as he was pulling off. He flipped the switch and it started lifting the car with my foot stuck in it. The company at the heart of this heated exchange, RPM Towing. I'm, I'm surprised that they're still in business. What are you guys? Surprised because it's the same company WCNC Charlotte has highlighted over and over again. In September, when they tried to illegally tow a legally parked car, upping the price to drop it. RPM tried it again in December, demanding different amounts of cash and trying to tow a running car when people were still sitting in it cannot tow a car while somebody's sitting in it. That one time, the owner of RPM, Joshua Fisher, wound up getting arrested. But most of the time, the BBB says there's very little that can be done. You're completely at their mercy. In 2014, the North Carolina Supreme Court ruled the government can't cap how much towing companies charge. The way the ordinance is structured right now, it doesn't afford any consumer protection. Our investigation found the Attorney General's office has had multiple complaints about RPM. Gastonia police once even banned them from operating. This time, the family called Gastonia police to the scene, but officers couldn't find any laws that RPM was breaking. Bottom line, these toe-to-toe -to -toe exchanges may be cringeworthy. What are you doing? But they're rarely criminal. It was, it was a horrible experience. It was awful. It was one of the worst things I've ever been through. So if you have towing troubles with your car, Gastonia police do still want to hear from you. So does the attorney general's office. I'm Tanya Mendes, WCNC Charlotte.